HD and today's objective is simple. Get this thing back together, rebuild diff in, swap out the injectors and flex tuning so we can finally run 98. Anyway, let's get into it. The story behind this diff was that it went bad. Blue Flame fixed it up and I couldn't pick it up until Sunday and they're obviously not open. So we left it out on the back of Dave's ute so I could swing past and pick it up after hours. And it happened to rain in that time. So now Max gets the clean or the surface rust. Most of you guys that are probably watching this would have seen the last episode we were working on this. But what we have most likely decided the issue is, is the injectors in there were CNG, compressed natural gas injectors. We think they are corroded and gummed up and they're playing up, which is probably what's causing our issue on Morton Island. What we have here is the solution to our problems. These are a liquid fuel specific injector, which is all stainless steel internal, specifically designed for ethanol, 98, etc. So what we're hoping is we put those in and fingers crossed, we have a 98 flex tune and no more misfiring BS. Also, it's been a while since we've spoken about the flex tune setup on this car, but obviously using the Haltech, the Raceworks flex sensor and all that sort of stuff, it's gonna allow us to run 98 straight ethanol or a blend percentage of both, uh, which is a really cool thing about having a car set up like this and all that modern tech in it. So, fingers crossed it all goes smoothly on the dyno. It won't. All right, I know it's probably hard to believe that we've changed outfits, but I promise it's the same day. Everyone's really stoked to be here still. But the good news is, we got the new injectors in. Uh, while we were here, coincidentally, finally went from that four inch to a five inch intake. Max is really stoked to be alive. John, the tuner, is about to stop in and we're gonna put this back on the dyno and hopefully flex tune him up. Seems to be running much happier with those new injectors in it so far, so see what happens. So as you're probably well aware now, we can't run a car like this on the roller dynos with the treps. They're far too soft. They'll delaminate and throw lugs everywhere. But most importantly, the actual treps, 37s are too big to fit on the rollers. So we're swapping some beta tires onto it. This doesn't really matter because we know we're not going for big power figures. This is just for reliable flex tuning. So we've got the fuel drained out of it. We should be able to fill it up with 98 pretty soon and then we'll see what happens. This is the part of the video where I talk like I know what's happening, but I'm really just regurgitating information that John gave me 30 seconds ago. It's misfiring at 14 PSI and it says that it's losing a coil, so we get to play the game of swap coils and see if it fixes our issue now. And then if not, then maybe we put some more fuel in it. And then if not, John goes home and we cry. Anyway, let's do that. Okay, well, if you're anything like me, you probably finally got sick and tired of your boring old four-wheel drive and it was time to upgrade. If you need a helping hand making that dream a reality, hit up the team at Finance Hunting. They're affordable, they're reliable, they're fantastic supporters of the channel and they can help make your dreams come true. Click the link in the description or jump on their website. Anyway, back to the episode. Okay, quick update. It was getting late here at HD, which is why the workshop's full, the boys brought all the cars in, but even after we dropped all the ethanol, ran it dry and put 98 in it, after a few runs, it was still reading like 23% ethanol. So we've just drained as much of that stuff out of it now and tucked the rest of the 98 in there that we have. Uh, so now we're gonna try and do a basic 0% ethanol 98 tune, see what we can get out of it. And then we start adding bit by bit ethanol, so every 10%. So you have to 10, 20, 30, etc., all the way up until straight ethanol. And then in theory, we should be able to go to pretty much any servo and choose either E85, 98, or a blender both. And the Haltech and the Flex sensor will be able to work out exactly what to do and keep it safe. So anyway, let's go back. I've asked if we can do 98 anti-lag because obviously anti-lag is sick, but less safe. We'll see what happens. It's all happening. 
As you can see, we've just made 659 horsepower. Um, most people will be really happy with that, but uh, being now that the car is on 98, we don't want to make that much power. Um, so basically the issue we're fighting at the moment is uh, what we call boost creep. So at about 3800 RPM, we have 14 pounds of boost. The uh, boost is rolling over. And what we'd like to see is that sit at 13, 13 and a half PSI, you know, 14, the whole way to red line. Basically what we're going to do now is we're going to throw some ethanol in it. Um, the ethanol content will improve the knock resistance, which means we can throw some timing in it. Uh, putting some timing in it will drop the boost slightly, um, but more importantly, the octane will make it safe to run those boost levels. So I think we're going to try and aim for about 30, maybe 35%. Um, that'll get Sam through his next couple of trips or events that he's doing and then we will sort out this boost creep issue with some fabrication and yeah we'll go from there. Nice man. In the abortion of a night we had. I think we forgot to tell you guys a pretty important thing that we were going to base a lot of this content off and that was getting to the bottom of the misfire, the idol and actually fixing what happened which we've done tonight. Max is going to help us humify the information that John just gave us so run us through it. So we changed a few things at, uh, at the same time but what we're putting down to are just shitty injectors essentially. The yeah. injectors we had in there were quite clogged up, we pulled them out, they were gunked up, uh, they tested badly. Um, doesn't help the car doesn't get driven a whole lot, like yeah. sit around for a while. So yeah. we've gone and swapped the injectors to a full stainless internal, really nice, way better injector, way better injector yeah. all around. Um, at the same time, we've also done coil packs, we've done fresh plugs, um, just what basically you're what else have we done? Check yeah, everything. Check um, the fuel filter, check heaps of things. Yeah, new, yeah, new everything, new fluids. Yeah. And Played with some it's setting. fixed it. You're probably wondering, John was made a good point as to why people think that the injectors wouldn't impact on the misfiring and mm. stuff, but we put it down to the fact that it was a combination of both causing the issue because we had the original coil packs in there, all we changed were the injectors, and it was still missing, but instead of at 3 PSI, it was 14 PSI. Yeah. So I think the injectors were definitely attributing to it. The coil packs were also a part of the problem. So replacing that whole thing together, I think, Nailed the issue. I mean, Nailed the issue. Crazy numbers. Very yeah. impressive horsepower, as you guys have seen. We're now just going to chuck some more ethanol in it and see what it does. But overall, never on better. it's awesome. it's safe. It's very happy. John's pleased. It's idling better than it ever has. I'm I think. Tired. Yeah. Max is tired. It's been a big couple of days. Anyway, let's throw some corn in it and see what it does. Change your head gasket again. Stop. Cut. Okay, that last run I didn't get on camera, but 920 horsepower at the rear tyre. What about 40 to 50 percent ethanol is insane. The dyno, the dyno is the bed basically. It, I think it's now at the limit of the dyno for that power. Dyno bad. So. It's been a long night, but the results have been wunderbar. Here it is, 953 horsepower at the rear wheels, 1,118 newton meters at the rear wheels. This thing is now safe and Gucci from anywhere 30 to 65% ethanol content, which is a lot more manageable than only being able to run on pure E85. So that's on what, 30? Three pound of uh, Right up top of the revs, 33, yeah. Okay, so. At 30 in the mid range. Amen. Uh, important to note that the injectors are now tapped. So, there you go, folks. Calling it there because the tyres are delaminated. Everyone's exhausted. This thing's f***ing beast that won't die. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that little insight into the tuning life. Whilst we haven't managed to do a straight 98 tune. Get that turbo sorted out. We'll get the turbo sorted out. Bring it back. We can get that done. And then go from there. Anyway, like and subscribe. Say bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.